everyone. I have been asked if I can do this page here um, for you. Now this is from Flora by Maria Trolle and obviously there's lots of snow on the page which I know can be a little bit tricky to colour. Um, I've got a I've got different ways that I do it, but I've got an idea of how I'm going to do it today. I'm also going to use my Arteza Expert pencils because I've been asked if I can do some videos using them. So we're sort of um, doing two requests at once. Now for my snow, I tend to use a blue. Now I like to use a sort of grey blue. So this is the Periwinkle blue from the Arteza. Um, I've got the 48 set. There might be a better lighter grayer blue than this in in the larger set of pencils but yeah this one's this one should work fine um if you're using other sets you might want um in the prisma there's a lot of very light blues to choose from um in polys you would use your sky blue um that sort of thing but let's get started i'm going to come in a bit closer and work on each little section at a time um it'll be a lot easier now as I say, there are lots of different ways to do snow, so this is just one way you could do it. Whoops, sorry, just try having to lift my book so that I can... So we've got a little bit on top of the house here, so we'll do this one first. As I say, we've got our blue. Now, the plan is to leave a little white gap between our black line and our snow like this. And I'm actually going to just draw a line around the whole thing like this it might seem a little odd I'm not going to go up there like that okay then we're going to start on this line and fade inwards this blue is a little bit darker than I might have normally chosen but I think will be okay on the large rows of snow it will be a little bit easier. So I want to try and fade so we've got almost no blue in the middle. It's not that easy to do, particularly if you're heavy handed. Now obviously we've got these lines on here as well. Not sure what to do with those. I shall think about that. We could have sort of incorporated our line, could have made that a bit darker or something. But I'll try, I'll do something different with those. So we'll just bring that in like that. There we go. Sort of as even as we can. A little bit up there. So there's our first snowy thing. Now snow reflects sky. So we've got a bit of sky here. So I'm going to do my sky in a blue colour to make it look like the snow is reflecting that blue. But um, it'll be a different blue colour to this. A darker version of this maybe. I'm looking at what I've got, I'm not sure, but um, here we're going to do along the edge again. Now, we're not going to do along the bottom edge because that's against the branch. This is just where the light's catching the top, that's what I'm trying to achieve the look of. Oh, just checking that you can st <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> I need to kick this cough habit. <laughs> I don't know if you find the same when you get a cough, it just seems to, sometimes it hangs on, but uh, it's very annoying. I annoy myself. Can you actually see what I'm doing? Let's put my hand underneath, I think that's a little bit easier. Now, the aim is to make it dark enough along this edge line, so you can't see that drawn a line. I should probably have drawn it a little bit lighter, really. Bring it all the way down to the bottom, but make it quite faint. It's quite difficult, I shall have to say, to um, fade like that. I took me quite a long time to learn. But um, I'm going to make that one a bit lighter, I think. Um, but what the, if you notice here, I'm doing more layers. And it's just that as I go down lower, do less layers and also press lighter. And then you can fade it like that. Now I've got quite a few smaller bits in the tree. Um, I might need to sharpen this very blunt pencil. I think I can find a sharp bit. I'm doing the same thing here, but our line needs to be a bit smaller because it sort of needs to be in proportion to the amount of snow. I didn't really do it very well over there. Mm. You still want a line if you can. 
if you haven't, if you've messed it up, like me, it's not the end of the world. Don't worry. Now, obviously, snow isn't blue, but I'm just thinking, you know, it can look very blue in a um, evening sort of light when it's sort of just getting dark, or early in the morning again when it's quite dark. So I'm thinking if we do our sky quite a dark colour. Got this big bit here. Let me just come out a tad because we were tackling all this big area here. <clears throat> so if we do our sky, I'm thinking I might do the sky really quite dark, a very dark blue, and then do some stars in it, you know, with the gel pen. And I think that might help to make the dark colour look right the blue. Now you do want your um, snow to reflect the colour of the sky as I said before so if you're doing a sunset for example I've seen um, snow done with a sort of orange tint from a sunset sky or um, um, you know reddish or bluish or even I've seen it even done in pink before so that's uh, that's uh, an idea for you. Now we've got snow behind snow there, which is a bit tricky, but um, we can we can potentially do the edge of the snow with a white pen to take it away, or with a a silver to make it glitter, glittery, sparkly, frosty snow. You know, we can uh, have a think about that later. I'm hoping you can see what I'm doing. I think you can. And you can see we're getting through this really quite quickly um, because we're just sort of, do this little bit here next, we're just colouring it quite quickly because it helps, keeps it even more easily I find. We use quite a blunt pencil and just go at it fast like that. <clears throat> now we've got the whole of this bottom bit, it's sort of almost one big bit. So let's sort of go in there and have a look. Um, <clears throat> now we have these lines. I'm going to take notice of these lines on this one because, although we didn't on that one, did we? Mm, I quite like to. So I think I'll put a line around there. That's easy. Around there. Be a bit better shaped like that. Now I might do one there around here. Got to do this bit too. There we go. Um, we can do one around there. Yeah, I might just do a bit around there like that. Okay, let's start up here where it's easy. What I think I'm going to do is on these bits, I'm just going to get, put some silver pen on top of those bits. Now I'm sort of not really taking notice of where the shadows will be. I'm just making it darker nearer the edge. But you might want to be a bit more sophisticated and think, oh, that will shadow this and... You know, but we've got this little bit in here, there, under there, there. But I try to keep it nice and simple, really, hoping that it will still work and look, you know still look um, pretty good. <coughs> Excuse me. I've been busy on the phone this morning making appointments. Um, my son had his letter for his last um, orthodontist appointment but it clashed with a day at uni. Um, but uh, I managed to reschedule it for his, he has one day off a week, 
so I managed to reschedule it for that. So that was good. And uh, he also likes me to go with him. Not sure why, but I think he's just never quite sure. It's a bit shy, but I don't mind going with him if it makes him feel more comfortable. I mean, to be honest, sometimes it's nice to have someone go with you. My, my mum doesn't go to appointments on her own. She always gets my dad to go with her. He doesn't mind. There we go. Now, the top is actually a bit darker than the bottom. I might just I darken it a bit here. I think it's because my pencil's got blunter. I'm just going to go over these edges a bit more, just so that it fades a bit more slowly because we've got a sort of dark bit and then nothing. I think that's looking better. Looks a bit more consistent through the page then. quite quick and easy. The artesas are quite um, soft which helps us. There we go. So I'm going to do the sky next. Um, I could have choose the colour quite carefully. Um, I'm having a look at what I've got. I've got um, a robin egg blue which is no good at all. I'm wondering whether because mm, the blueberry blue is quite dark but I don't think it's the right gosh, shade. Um, I'm just going to scribble. I haven't used these pencils for ages. That's a bit bright. Hmm, that's not really a sky colour. Oh, ooh, the ultramarine. Will that work? Yeah, I think it might. I'm going to try a layer of ultramarine. I'm not going to make it too dark to start with. And, uh, see where we go um how we get on really um let's go in a little close to our sky there we go so this is the um ultramarine blue i'm just going to sharpen it because there's quite a few little details to get around <clears throat> we'll see how it looks as i say i don't want to do too hard a layer yet now I'm not very keen on the ultramarine colour, but I do want it to look like it's quite dark. I may add a dark grey or a black even to it to get that night look of night, but we'll see how it's, uh, or dusk, but we'll see how it looks once it's down. <clears throat> Excuse me and then decide whether it needs a bit more of something. I was doing that with a picture this morning. I'd almost finished it last night, finished colouring everything in it, and uh, then I came back to it this morning and finished it and then looked at it and sort of just added little bits here and there, um, made some of the colours a bit more intense, that sort of thing. and. Uh, it was uh, it ended up looking very much better so that was good but it's quite nice when you if you use a soft layer of pencil and don't burnish it in then it's very easy to add in more now these trees are going to sort of be silhouetted aren't they up against the sky and just being a bit careful here making sure I'm not colouring over any snow that I may have missed when I was doing my snow. Now I haven't looked at any versions of this page. I sometimes when I'm colouring a page, usually not when I do a video because I don't want to copy someone else when I'm too directly when I'm showing you something. Um, but now this is quite uneven. This is a lot lighter than this. It's not going to work as a finished layer. So I was looking at, um, so, so I, sometimes I look at other people's versions and get some ideas, particularly if there's 
um, something I don't quite know what it is. Like in the one I was doing last, um, there was a little person and I couldn't work out whether a certain bit was a leaf or a leg, you know. So I just had a little look at other people's versions and I was like, ah, that makes sense. Um, whatever it was. I don't think it, it was either a leaf or a leg. It was just a bit of background or something. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I used their version just to work that out. So, and sometimes I look at people's versions and they it's obvious they haven't worked out what it is either. <laughs> so uh, that's not always helpful. Or people have different ideas on what it might be. Which I think is always nice that, you know, we're all different in how we interpret things and have different ideas on what's going on in a particular picture. We've got to get around squirrels, little paw. Didn't do a very good job of that. But my pencil's quite blunt again now. Oh, over the branch. The branch is going to be quite dark. So it doesn't matter too much. And here's this bit. Now, I'm going to sit back and look and think. I'm looking at the whole page. Um, you obviously can't see me looking at the whole page. Um, yeah, I think I'm... I'm happy with that and I'm happy with it being quite a solid colour rather than a graduated colour. That's partly why I did it like, because I thought maybe I want it dark at the bottom going to lighter or the other way around, but no. So I'm going to go back over this in a lot of layers so it's a more um, intense colour. I'm actually happy with it remaining this colour and not having any black or grey. Like I sort of said, you may want to darken it more. I think once we've got the dark branches in and put some stars in the sky then it'll all, well we could do snow but if we do them white then it's open to interpretation although say I was watching, I've been colour with Claire, saying that stars tend to be um, in clusters so you might do three dots, there's cross, you know different things whereas snow tends to be fairly evenly spread throughout the background so you should be able to tell the difference but it doesn't really matter hopefully the fact that this is so dark helps you know it's night time we'll put some lights in the windows of the houses as well um, which would also help to make it look like night time it's pouring with rain today and uh, it's quite um, typical of winter here. We don't, you know, yes, there is sometimes snow, but it's not like it snows all winter. We just get a little bit. And usually it's just lots of rain and wind and just cooler temperatures. And uh, I've got to go out. I was hoping it might stop, but I looked at the forecast and it's not going to. So I'm just going to have to... I was hoping I might be able to persuade the boys to come out for a little short walk but I think the fact that it's pouring with rain may put them off but I've, I've got no choice I've got to pop out um husband started um work was it back at work today it's only the 2nd of January and um he um needed a lunchbox it's all fine hadn't thought about it at all um now yesterday was the 1st of Jan it's a bank holiday public holiday I'm sharpening up my pencil by the way. Not sure if um, any many shops were open or supermarkets or anything and I didn't go out because it was pouring with rain. This morning I was like, no last night I suddenly got to thinking, have I actually got any things to put in his lunchbox? Mm. So I had a quick look in the fridge. I had some carrots, I put carrot in. Um, I had a tin of sweet corn, that was easy, put that in. Um, this is to make him like a salad. Um, I had a, um, he had some spinach which he's going to use to make a sauce. I said, can I take a handful of spinach out of your, he's like, yeah. He also had some tomatoes which he's using to make a sauce. I said, I put a few tomatoes in. Had some grapes, 
put some grapes in with salad. And um, what else did I have? Um, oh, a pepper. I put half a pepper in there as well, red pepper. So he's got a fairly reasonable salad, but I need to get some cucumber and some lettuce and some more tomatoes and things like that. Um, so I can make him a better lunchbox tomorrow. But um, he's okay. Where he's the offices, he has a few different offices that he can work in depending on what meetings he's got and that sort of thing. And uh, the office he's in today is actually opposite a, a um, gar garden centre, which has got a supermarket in it. Well, it's not really just a garden centre, it's like a um, it's not an industrial estate, like a retail, that's right, a retail park, that's the word I'm looking for. So it's got a variety of shops and they've got a little supermarket in there which, um, and there's a petrol station which has like sandwiches and stuff. So he does have the option of buying things but I'm hoping that he'll be good and just eat the salad because his weight um, this morning, what's he, 16 stone 1 or something. And he could do with them. Um, if he can get back down below 16, it'd be a nice little target to hit, you know. Unfortunately, he struggles a bit. He he finds that the only way he can really lose is exercise. And walking, he can lose use of doing, but we haven't been doing much because, um, well, we've, we obviously had COVID before Christmas. And uh, when our Christmas holiday started, he had a couple of weeks off, which was lovely. We were still sort of recovering and didn't have a lot of energy. So and because we'd booked a few different events and things to do, we were trying to save our energy up for those rather than walking and, you know. And I did get my energy back, but it seems to have waned again. But I think it might be because I haven't been going out, but I'm just feeling a bit tired. I'm also, I am sleepy tired in the sense that I'm not getting enough sleep. That's because uh, um, I'm not going to bed early enough. It's my fault. So here we have, I think that looks quite dark night sky -y, but I think I would like it to look a little bit smoother. Um, I do have a blending pencil here somewhere. Yeah, this is the um, Prisma Colourless Blender. I'm going to see if it works with the Arteza. Have a look. Oh yeah. See the difference? You could use another layer of pencil to get this possibly, but somehow a blender is easier sometimes. But yeah, this one's working beautifully. Our taste is quite a soft pencil, so it means it will blend quite nicely. And uh, we just quickly do all of it. Um, we need to get on to doing some of the details, don't we? We have the trees. Now, I don't know what brands we've got in the set. Yeah. As with a lot of pencil sets, we have a lot of red browns and then a lot of really dark browns, but nothing in between, no sort of beigey browns, no um, raw umber, that sort of thing. But um, I will see what I can do. Because what I tend to like to do with a tree is put a lighter brown down and then use a darker brown to pick out the edges to make it look a little bit more three-dimensional. If you make the edges of each branch and the trunk um, darker, it gives it the impression that the trunk is round rather than flat. But um, we'll see what we can do in a minute. I'm nearly there with this. I just wanted to do it on camera so that you could just see. And I knew it wouldn't take too long. So a squirrel um, looks like a red squirrel. How do you tell? The ears. The red squirrel has really pointy, long ears compared to the grey squirrel. They're also more fun. To <coughs> Excuse me, more fun to colour. Right, I'm going to do this tree. This um, is a much easier tree. Than this big tree over here. Um, let me see. I think that this um, burnt ochre might be our best light brown. There is a cinnamon. I think that's going to be too red. I'm just going to scribble them on some. Yeah. And I've also got, what's that? 
the sienna that looks even redder it is that's no good right so i'm going to use this um burnt ochre okay and just go over the whole tree you see it's quite orangey <laughs> yay <laughs> That was a good start, wasn't it? I was thinking this is quite a short pencil. Even shorter now. Let's try pressing a little bit lighter. Be a bit gentle. There we go. Could be because this book is near the end of the book and I'm not, this bit isn't actually leaning on anything, although I thought because it was a hardback we'd get away with it, but maybe not. So I'm just doing all of the wood, um, all of the branches and tree to start with in this. I may not do the other tree in exactly the same way. We'll see. Wait till we get there. Uh, that's a bit of that tree, so we'll ignore that bit at the minute. Just doing this little tree. <coughs> The rain is relentless, but at least I'm not out at the moment. Actually, I could always ask husband to shop on his way in from work, but I really should get out there and get some exercise. I can pop my wellies, Wellingtons, wellies on, welly boots. I don't know what people call them. I call them wellies on. Right, so there's our base. I'm going to go in with the dark one. Now I've got chocolate brown, cocoa brown and espresso brown and they are all much for muchness i think i'll use this one oh but i don't know what it is because it the name's been sharpened off so i think i use one with the name this is chocolate brown might be dark might be light but it's definitely chocolate so i'm going to use this one there we go need to be a sharper point on this one and then we'll start We'll start here on the trunk so the idea is to put down a fairly dark layer along here ignore the branches at the minute and then gently fade that color in towards the middle of the tree like that do the same thing here what color are rabbits mm, don't know. i think they come in lots of colors don't they i'm gonna make that quite dark along there as if there's a bit of shadow from that pile of snow and then bring that in and then we'll go up we'll, we'll go this way so along the edge of this branch as we go just um, so what I do I'll just show you on the top so rather than just doing a line I do a bit of a line and when it's dark enough I then just scumble it in just a bit so that it isn't such a hard line yeah hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Mine, yeah. I was thinking, am I even in shot? Yes. <laughs> I'm doing more of a hard line on this branch because it's small. If I scumble it in, we'll have to see none of the other colour. Like that. Now we'll go around this bit of snow. Still scumbling a bit on this thicker bit of branch. And then this bit has got covered in blue and it's really thin so I'm trying to put down quite a dark layer so we can see it's actually branch rather than sky. And what you might find is I'm finding these edges aren't coloured in very well with the blue so they may need, need going over a bit in a minute but one thing at a time. I tend to try and deal with one colour at a time if I can or else I get myself in a muddle. Okay. And then up there, this bit's quite thin, I'm just going to block that in. Is that snow? I haven't coloured it snow, I'm going to put it as branch. Mm. Gets a bit tricky, doesn't it? Telling what's what. That's branch. That's branch. There we go. Got a bit of 
branch here that I didn't even colour in in the original colour. We'll get there because we're going to come back and do another layer of the other colour in a bit. that needs a bit more dark I don't want them too light and this looks a bit pale now compared to the um, branches so I'm just gonna darken it up a little bit and then we'll go back to here it's a bit quite dark there we go and draw snow around there I'm sitting here wondering whether my boys are actually getting on with their work or not. It's so tricky that they... Even husband has to be told to concentrate. I don't know whether it's a thing, you know, some people struggle with. I guess they do. But I'm so sort of... I find it fairly simple to focus. They seem to find it quite difficult. Mm. Right, we're going to go back to our um, burnt ochre and just go back over those lighter areas just to fit it in. I don't want lots of white paper, but this should still help to keep the impression that the branches are a little bit rounded. Go over that bit. So that's supposed to be snow. Just coloured over it in brown. No one saw. So there's our first tree. Quite happy with that. You could use your um, blender if you've got one if you want to. But I'm I'm okay with it. So I've got another little tree here, which I'm going to do in the same way. Burnt ochre as a base. Train going by. We're quite lucky with the direction our house face faces back to the chocolate brown um, because we're not parallel with the train, so we hear a bit but not much. One of my the neighbours that the house sort of runs parallel with the track. We've got a house between us and the track. Really, is the reasoning. They, um, when the train goes by, even inside, you can't talk if the, um, you know, it's very, very loud. Whereas for us, it's fine. It doesn't, if I'm watching TV or something, I don't even notice them. Whereas, going back to this, um, the ochre, um, whereas they can't hear their telly, which would be a bit annoying, wouldn't it? I mean, I don't watch loads of telly, but when I do watch telly, I want to sit down and actually watch it. Now, I'm not sure whether to make this big tree here a different colour or not, but I think that I'm going to leave that for today and come back and do the rest tomorrow because we've done quite a lot today, but um, I've got quite a big area to do still. We've got the stars to do. We've got to do a few touches on the snow and we've got some of these smaller details to do. So I think what we'll do is I'll come out and show you what we've done today. And because I thought the snow looked a bit too dark, particularly here and here, um, it does look lighter in camera because of my lamp fades to the top of the page more than the bottom, just because of the position. I can't position it in really anywhere else. Um, but because the sky is so dark it helps the snow look much lighter which is what I wanted to achieve and um, hopefully it does give that sort of um, a dusky look but anyway that's that's today's and tomorrow we'll come in refine it all a bit um, you know fit colour in the rest think about what colours we want because we haven't got a lot of colour so uh, we'll see but thank you for watching today as I say come back tomorrow for the next half the last bit. I'm going to just make this two videos. I don't think we need more. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Have a super day and happy colouring.